Okay, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Salatul Barakatu, and good afternoon to all my friends, colleagues, and random people who just happen to watch my videos. My name is Hani Mado, and today, and today I'm going to answer, I'm going to attempt to answer these questions. Number one, if my neighbor is stealing Wi-Fi from our house. Number two, is there someone outside the house is using our Wi-Fi without our knowledge, without our permission? Number three. Is the hacker is using our Wi-Fi? Right. So earlier this morning, earlier this morning, I was watching a, a video on YouTube, and it was a high-quality video. It's like, uh, um, I think it was 720p HD, which is a high definition. Um, and it was somewhere in the middle of the video, it dropped quality dramatically from 720 uh, 720p HD to a 144p. SD standard definition and which of which okay if you know anything about high definition standard definition videos that that that's a huge drop in the quality of the video that, uh, that I expect to watch overall the internet becomes slow and uh, very difficult to go anywhere on the internet and uh, it's like lag after lag after lag and I couldn't explain it because it was early in the morning, I think it was 4 o'clock in the morning and nobody else is using Wi-Fi, right? Nobody else inside the house was using Wi-Fi besides myself. Only two devices uh, that I know of were connected to, uh, to my Wi-Fi. So what the heck? So um, I needed something, I needed a software of which it, it would tell me uh, what, what other devices that are connected to my Wi-Fi, right? And by a process of elimination, I can uh, I can eliminate uh, my devices that are legally using my Wi-Fi as suspects, and find whether there are other devices outside the house that are illegally using my Wi-Fi. Right? And you see, I don't mind guests or people who just come to my house using my Wi-Fi to browse to search for something, but. I'm, I have this suspicion that they're using a torrent, you know, uh, to download movies or music, or whatever. And whenever someone is using torrent inside the house, the internet suffers greatly. So um, I needed a software to tell me whether there are other computers, whether there are other smart devices that are connected to my Wi-Fi without our, without our knowledge, without our permission. So first, you just need to go to your Google search and search for wireless. Uh, uh, wireless network watcher the first one right now this software I've been using this software for for years and it only came to me uh, recently when I started having internet problems so uh, this software is, is very popular uh, you can go to different places to different sites over the internet and you can download those softwares uh, from there uh, uh, but I would prefer to go to the source. I would prefer to, to go to the developer so, uh, site, which is at nearsoft.net, right? Now, so I will I will provide the link below the video uh, if you're watching uh, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, right? So um, I prefer to go to the source, so, which is at nearsoft.net slash utility slash wireless network watcher HTML. Just go there uh, when you run uh, when you install this program on your computer. Um, you will have the IP address of uh, the device uh, the vi that are being used here and you will see the name of the device but more importantly the MAC address now most of the time the name of the device is is left blank you will not get the name oh this is this is my neighbor of the device no it will, you will not get uh, this uh, description concentrate on this one the MAC address now the MAC address is very important now, what is the MAC address? Uh, I actually made a PowerPoint here. Just now, a MAC address. This is a different software, but uh, but basically the same idea. A MAC address is is a 12-digit number, right? It's it's in hexadecimal num uh, hexadecimal numbering system, so we, which which is which use uh, A B C D letters, but 
up to F, I think. Yeah, 16. So, but basically, um, it's a, it, it's a, it is a 12 digit number or a 12 uh, characters uh, code, let's say a code. Now, a uh, MAC address is, uh, it stands for mandatory access control. Basically, what it means, every device, every smart device, every computer, that uses some sort of wireless connection like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth has its own unique MAC address, right? No two devices are the same. This, this, this device has its own MAC address. This device has its own MAC address. No two devices have share the same MAC address. Thus, usually, most of the time, it should be like, like that, right? So my computer has its own MAC address. Uh, my laptop has its own MAC address. My 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 iPhone uses its own uh, MAC address, and this Samsung tablet it has its own MAC address. It's, they're all unique uh, addresses, right? So this is just example. Uh, you can um, uh, you can see okay, this computer is Dell. Uh, its MAC address is 9048.9a. Now this 12-digit MAC address, right? Now, um, another thing that I want to point out before we move, we move on to the next slide is uh, the IP address. You, uh, the IP address may not appear the same uh, uh, like you have in your home. Now, most houses, most homes uh, that use this Wi-Fi, uh, when they subscribe, when they go to the ISP, um, Oh god, I, ha I had the router here somewhere. So basically when you subscribe uh, to uh, to internet, when you install Wi-Fi inside, inside the house, you will, you will be given this small device, this uh, which is uh, uh, the router, the internet router, okay? So basically that, this is what brings the internet from outside to inside your home. And it, uh, usually uh, and that device will be broadcasting uh, your uh, Wi-Fi signals all over, the, all over the house. Now the last number here, number one here. Now, most routers, most routers, they use the first IP address, 1.1, all right? 1.1 is usually, let's say here, internet gateway, all right? Now, um, if I remember correctly, five years ago, I was using a different router from a different inter, uh, from a different ISP, and instead of 1.1, it uses 1.255. Now, 255 is the last in the list, all right? Does it make sense? Don't worry, it will make sense uh, eventually, all right? Now, uh, let's uh, let's download this software. Uh, now, um, so just go down here, down here. Now I have to note that I have to I have to mention that it comes in different languages. I have here Arabic, um, French, even Thai language, uh, but no Bahasa, no Bahasa Melayu, no Bahasa Indonesia. Unfortunately, uh, now as for English, you will not find the link over here because the English version is over here. I uh, just look for this uh, this link that says uh, that says. Download wireless network watcher in zip file. Now you can install it, but uh, I don't like to install things. I prefer to download zip files, right? So just click on download wireless uh, network watcher in zip file, right? Now it is a small, small, so small, small zip file. It will take seconds to download it. One, two, three, four, five. Inside on my on my desktop. Now this is a zip file. And some of you may say, oh, do I need a WinZip or WinRAR? No, not really. Just double click it and open the, uh, the zip file in front of you here. Now, inside the zip file, there are three files. Now, you need to extract them. Now, I don't want to go... Now, WinRAR is slightly different from WinZip and WinZip. But if you don't have WinZip or WinRAR, it has a different different way to un uh, unzip the file. So, But basically, basically, what you need to do is you go click on an empty space on your desktop like this create a new folder right new folder just hi and highlight those files that you just downloaded like this and you just click and drag it click and drag it and throw it inside the folder right now you can, clo you can close the zip file right so inside the folder you will get three software all right uh, let me change the icons much Right? So you will get three, uh, three, uh, three files in front of you here. 
Now the first one is application. So this is the software itself. Now uh, before I do that, um, now remember this is on this is on my desktop. You can put it anywhere actually. You can rename it and just put a name. Uh, uh, Fiki. I just want to keep it uh, tidy. Network wireless. Uh, network Wacharia. Uh, run the application see application see application so when you run it the first time when you first time run this program oh, did I click it double click all right well the first time you run this program you will have uh, this option option box okay. uh, use the following network adapter scan the following IP addresses range blah 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 right but uh, I only I would advise you to click, click the first one click on use the following network adapter like this now uh, in most computers modern computers um, they have more than more than one uh, net, uh, more than one network adapter right uh, in my computer it seems that I have three one two three but I, I care about Wi-Fi I, the, the whole purpose of downloading this software is to investigate my Wi-Fi connection so you just search for something that anything related to Wi-Fi right but if uh, and there's uh, there's only one option here that's mentioned Wi-Fi Ethernet it's not Ethernet it's not the it's not LAN LAN it's uh, it is I'm, I'm, I'm investigating I'm investigating Wi-Fi right just click on Wi-Fi now uh, if you don't now different computers have different settings have different names in front of you but don't worry uh, what you do is you just just choose one and you just click plus uh, click OK and if it doesn't work you can you can always go back to the options and change the advanced uh, op and go to the advanced option and change the, the next one right so uh, you, you choose the next one, you test it, if it doesn't work, you just cho choose the next one. If it doesn't work, you choose the next one. If it works, then you stop. You stop at that, right? Got it? So, uh, again, uh, so wife, uh, this is because, because it says here it's Wi-Fi, so just connect to Wi-Fi, right? In other words, you can leave it empty, but um, for advanced users, you can scan uh, different ranges, but I, I don't want to use, uh, mess with that. Just use the following network adapter that is anything related to Wi-Fi. Then at the bottom here, you just click OK. So the thing is, um, MAC addresses are like fingerprints right every every device i own has its own unique mac address it's not a good idea to share your fingerprints all over the internet right so that that's why i blank the screen for a moment and uh, i just move the slider here i just want to show you the first four digits the first four uh, characters so i don't want to share the rest of these characters because those things are private uh, and it's not a good idea to share your uh, your fingerprints all the, in the internet. Um, all right, now um, I also I also own an iPad. Um, I actually, it's actually my mom's iPad. Uh, it's sitting somewhere inside my mom's room, but uh, at the moment she's not using her her iPad, which is why it's not showing here. Now most smart devices, even even computers like laptops. Whenever you not whenever you are not using your internet, uh, the Wi-Fi feature shut down. It just switches off, right? Uh, make sure you have all the devices: your iPad next to you here, your iPhone, whatever, your laptop. You switch it on. Switch. It, uh, make it uh, do something all uh, over the internet, right? Like play a YouTube video, for example. Now, at this very moment, at this very moment, there are three devices that are connected to my Wi-Fi. The first one is my router, which is which is logic. The router is transmitting Wi-Fi, so yeah, this is my router. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a small note here. Click right button here, and click properties. So, so in using text, this basically you just give a, a, a description. So well, this is this is my router, my house router. Right? Okay, just router, my router lah. Make it short. This is my router. So I know for a fact that uh, the MAC address of uh, 68AO is my router. 
right? And to prove this point, I actually snapped a picture. Uh, so uh, this is the bottom of my uh, of my um, uh, router from Huawei again. It is from Huawei Technologies, and its MAC address is a six. It's a twelve digit n number or a twelve digit uh, twelve characters uh, that start with six eight a zero. Six eight. A zero. The rest is well. I I don't want to share the whole thing, so that's why I put a picture on it. So, so remember this: bring a piece of paper and pen, a pen or pencil and write it down. All right. So my uh, Wi-Fi router is I already did it in here. Huawei is six eight a zero. Write it down. Make sure you, so you can remember it. All right. So is it true? Go back to the wireless. Uh, network watches. So again, um, yeah, it's Huawei Technologies. Yeah, we know that. MAC address the address is six eight a zero blah 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 blah. All right. Oh. Next is it says here your computer, my computer. Really? All right, Sony. Yes, my computer is uh, the one I'm I'm using in front of you. I'm connected to the uh, to the TV. That's my Sony TV here. It's actually a Sony computer. All right. So Sony. Uh, MAC address C860 Alright, so is it true? In, uh, if you're using Windows uh, 10 If you're using Windows 10 You simply go to your uh, To your uh, Wi-Fi uh, to, to your Wi-Fi icon oh my god Okay, and just click on it Now you'll see here Network setting uh, you, I hope you can see it Network settings here Just click on it now, uh, yeah, it will give you the settings, all this, blah, 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 all this thing. Make sure it's uh, connected Wi-Fi here. Now, look for hardware properties. Click on it, all right? So a bunch of personal information appears in front of you. But uh, can I show you? Give me a second here to block it off. Uh, again, it's a MAC address. I, I, I see it right now. It's in front of me, but I just need to hide it. All right? It's, this fingerprint is unique to my computer and I do not wish, I do not want to share the MAC address of uh, this term computer for the world to see. Now, all right, it's done. All right, so this is the, uh, all right, see this is the MAC address uh, for my computer. All right, so you can see a MAC address C860. Again, this is if you're using Windows 10. If you're still using an older version uh, of Windows, like Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows Vista, uh, Windows 2000, uh, okay, the best way to explain it is by, command, by going through the command prompt. On your keyboard, press on Windows key and R, right? When you press Win and R together, you will have this box, uh, of which you'll be able to access uh, to the command prompt by typing CMD, right? And press Enter. So, um, so in the command prompt, you are supposed to type uh, the I, uh, type in the command ipconfig, followed by space. Only uh, only press the space once, right? So then slash forward all, right? Then you press enter. So a bunch of information will appear in front of you. Do not get intimidated by the amount of information that is uh, in front of you. So let's go through them. Let's start from the very top, from the beginning. So there it is, Windows IP configuration, yeah, yeah, just keep. We're looking for anything related to wireless. Uh, and if you can find something that says Wi-Fi directly, even, that's even better. So there you have it. I have here wireless local area network adapter, and this is the MAC address for this uh, wireless device. So physical address C860, but it's, uh, if I, Scroll a bit further down, I also have another wireless uh, adapter Wi-Fi. So, uh, and and this and this one has a unique uh, physical address that is different from the first one. So, but okay, which one to choose? I have two wireless devices on my computer. So, uh, but since the second one specifically says that this is for Wi-Fi, so I will probably choose the, the one the second one, right? Uh, so there you have it. Uh, this is true in all Windows versions as far as I know, uh, from Windows XP to all the way to Windows 10. C860 is actually my computer. 
Uh, let's give it a different name. Uh, oh, sorry. My bedroom. My bedroom PC. Alright. Okay. Alright. My bedroom PC. See? My router, my bedroom PC. Next is FCC7. Now at the moment I, I'm sitting next to my phone here. It is it is a Samsung. Samsung? Samsung, Samsung. Yeah. It is it is a Samsung. And um, I went to the settings. I just need to go to settings. Alright, so what I see here, this is what appears my Samsung. I went to the settings, then I scroll down to about device, then click on status here. Alright? Again, go to settings. Scroll down to about device, click on status. Alright? So when you, once you click on the status, you will see that the, I, the MAC address, the Wi-Fi MAC address is a 12 digits number. Again, 12, 12, 12. Remember it is 12. But I'm going to show you the first four digits, which is FCC7. So, uh, FCC7. Yes. Definitely. So I'll give it a name. Click right. I'm going to click right button on it. Click properties. So this is my uh, so tablet. Okay. Next is Apple. Right? It says here Apple. So, uh, so I know this is a, uh, it's an iOS device. It could be a Mac or iPhone. But I know for sh uh, for a fact that my iPhone is uh, disconnected from Wi-Fi, so it couldn't cannot be my my iPhone. So it must be my mom's uh, iPad in her room. So her Mac uh, the Mac address of her I have of her iPad is six four two zero. So what I did is earlier I went uh, to the settings, then I click on general, then I click on about. Right. Once you do that, when once you click about, you will see a list. MAC address is six four two zero. Should be here, right? Wi-Fi address six four two zero. Let's go back to the software. Let's see. It says here six four two zero. So yes, success. So um, at the moment, nobody uh, uh, nobody is using the iPad, but uh, uh, sometimes. The iPad uh, because it, it has uh, Facebook and other things. Uh, it just uh, it uh, it's, uh, it connects uh, with the Wi-Fi on and off. So yeah, my mom's iPad. All right. So um, at the moment, there are four devices that uh, since we started this uh, tutorial. They are connected to my Wi-Fi and these are the ones that are using my Wi-Fi. Alright, um, all right, so uh, just now um, my mom came back and uh, I borrowed her phone and I just wanted, I was curious about her MAC address. So my mom's uh, Samsung phone, is, you just need to go to settings, click on more. Oh, sorry. You click on the settings. You click on more. Then click on about device. When you click about device, a menu items appear. Uh, so you click on status. Once you click on status, you will have your MAC address, Wi-Fi MAC address, mentioned here. Six zero two one blah 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 blah. So my mom's uh, MAC address, uh, my mom's phone uh, MAC address is six zero two one. So let's go back to the software just now. So my tablet, I already so I already wrote it down here. Six zero two one. Click right button. So so my mom's. Oh, just capitalized it. Alright, so my this is my mom's phone. Alright, so six zero two one is my mom's. Alright. So those are all the devices that are connected, that are switched on and connected to Wi-Fi at this very moment. I also have iPhone and a tab and a laptop uh, computer here, but they are switched off. They are not using internet. They are not using Wi-Fi. So that's why they are not populating this list. Amazingly, there are four other devices that are connected. Uh, that are connected to my Wi-Fi. That 
for the life of me, I do not know who those who those people are. The thing is, I don't think that a bunch of hackers from outside they uh, they just well, they walk by and they happen to discover my Wi-Fi password. I don't think so. What I think, what happened is, I think that my neighbors, you know, sometimes uh, during festivals, during weekends, uh, they come to, my, to our house. And especially the children, especially, especially the children, will, they will come to me and uh, uh, please, please, Uncle Honey, can you tell me the Wi-Fi password? Um, okay, so it's like basically, may, probably, in those events we uh, we we gave up our password, wi Wi-Fi password, to our neighbors, to our neighbors' children, and from there they shared it all over the neighborhood. It appears, I mean, four computers. In fact, I'm going to go to the properties. And I do not care whether you see the MAC address here. So the, this is the MAC, MAC address. Again, this is not mine. So yeah, I will give the name. Intruder. Intruder 1. All right, so the next one, the MAC address is this one. Intruder 2. This one, definitely not mine. Intruder 3 Then this one is Vivo. I think I'm guessing this is a Android phone and this is the Mac address and this is Intruder 4 I got four hackers Not hackers. Okay. I got four people are using my Wi-Fi without my knowledge without my permission at this very moment and all all happened today right so uh, now let's go back to the IP address now remember I mentioned that the first address 1.1 is usually reserved for the router or sometimes it is the last number 1.255 but 1.1 then just remember what this number 192.168.1.1.1 which the reason is you can actually change your Wi-Fi password you just simply go to your browser internet browser like this one and you just type in the IP address 192.168.1.1 okay, then you press enter and from here I should be able to gain access to my router and change the Wi-Fi password uh, from there I only need to key in, uh, in uh, the username and the password now, I hope, I hope that you have the username and the password for your own router, right? If you don't, you probably need to uh, pick up the phone and contact your ISP, your internet service provider, uh, your internet company. Uh, because uh, the f when, the, your first, when, the f when the first time you install Wi-Fi inside the house, the person who done, who's, who's done the installation for you uh, he probably should be able to provide you with the username and the password but in case he, f he forgets in case you had it uh, but uh, you lost it uh, you, the easiest way is to, uh, to, is to pick up the, the phone and contact your ISP um, have someone uh, have someone to come to your house and uh, do the resetting for you and uh, change and change and change the Wi-Fi for, uh, password for you or you can take out the router and bring the router to their offices and uh, ask them to change uh, to to change the Wi-Fi password to to reset uh, the uh, the router for you, right? So that's the easiest way because there are hundreds of routers out there with different make and models with different uh, ways and methods of resetting and changing the Wi-Fi. It will be impossible for me to cover all that. Right, so once you have your username and the password of your router and you log in, I can do, I can, we can do two things. Number one, we can change the Wi-Fi password altogether. And that's the simplest solution and the best solution, the solution that I would recommend. Now another way to do this is you can choose certain MAC addresses and uh, those unwanted uh, MAC addresses will not be able to gain access to your network. For example, here I, I have the intruder uh, the, the MAC address of intruder one, so I'm going to copy this MAC address and log in. 
So it may this may appear different, slightly different from uh, what you have uh, on your router. Uh, but basically, I want to add the filters. So the idea is I can add filters that detect those MAC addresses and block those MAC addresses from ever connecting to our, to, to, to my network, to my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to add this filter. I'm called call, call in do, through the one. Then I paste in the complete 12 digits of uh, uh, the, uh, the MAC address of their device. And the status is reject, which means they are not welcomed on my Wi-Fi network. Okay, so the idea is Whenever this person attempts to access uh, my Wi-Fi using his device, using uh, using this unique MAC address, he will uh, he will be rejected. He will, he will be immediately kicked out from my Wi-Fi uh, and from uh, and from uh, from using uh, uh, my internet. And I can repeat the process and add more filters for intruder two and three and four. But the simplest uh, solution is to change the Wi-Fi uh, password altogether. So look for something for WLAN. That's Wireless Local Area Network, your, your Wi-Fi. In here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two things. Okay, I'm going to do two things. I want to change the name of my Wi-Fi. And to ch and change the password to, to that to, to that to, to the Wi-Fi. So my the old name I'm, uh, is Mador. I want to change that. Call it one. Um, call it Bait, right? which means house in Arabic. So it's, and okay. So this is the password I'm guessing. Do I need to change something else? No. Alright, I don't, I don't want to mess this part, so just leave it alone. Now, now, and now I can add a new password. Okay, so now I have a new name for my Wi-Fi and a new password uh, for it. Once I'm satisfied, I just click OK or just click on Submit. I'm still connected to the to my old Wi-Fi uh, with the name Mad uh, with the name Mador, so it will take a few seconds to disconnect. Oh yeah, so so the now I'm disconnected from Wi-Fi because uh, Mador and uh, the Wi-Fi uh, is no longer there. So yeah, no more Mador. Now it's called Byte. So now I need to key in the password. Oh, freak. Ah! Okay. Do you want to allow your PC to be uh, discovered? Uh, yeah, sure, yeah, whatever. Okay. Alright, so success. Now I have, uh, I have gained access to my new Wi-Fi with a new password. Do I have internet? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yes, basically I have internet on my Wi-Fi. So that now the, my, uh, the wireless network watcher is telling me that there are only two devices that are connected to my Wi-Fi at this very moment. Uh, my other devices, my other computers are not connected to this Wi-Fi because they do not recognize with the new name, the new Wi-Fi name, and they do not have the password for the, uh, for for this uh, for this Wi-Fi spot. Okay, just a quick uh, note here. Now, whenever you change the password on your Wi-Fi network, sometimes, not always, sometimes you will find resistance or problems reconnecting with this Wi-Fi network. This is because your computer or your smart device may still be using the old password before you made all these changes. So, the easiest way to solve these problems, if you have them, is to make the computer or the device forget about these old passwords and to do so you just okay in Windows 10 you just uh, uh, click on the Wi-Fi settings and locate your Wi-Fi network right click on it and uh, make it forget the network similarly in Android uh, you go through the Wi-Fi settings and uh, tap and hold on the network uh, Wi-Fi network and forget the network also in iOS do so same thing and uh, uh, this doesn't happen always 
most smart, uh, sorry, most modern smart devices are capable and identifying uh, changes in the Wi-Fi password, of which they will ask you to uh, to insert new passwords. It doesn't happen always. Okay, um, uh, yeah, for Android users, um, this uh, the wireless network watcher is also available on Android Store uh, on Google Play. You just search for wireless uh, network watcher. Okay, granted, there is no such uh, software, uh, there's no such app available on Google Play, but there are plenty of similar apps that are available for free to uh, to, to to download and install and use it on your on your Android device. The one I have here is um, is an app called Wi-Fi Network Scanner. Right? This uh, I like this one because it's very simple. Uh, one, it basically has the same idea. Once uh, you once you run it, you will, it will it should give you um, the name of the device, the, the 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 IP address, and the MAC address of each device that are connected of each device that is connected to your Wi-Fi. Right? It's also available on iOS on the on for iPhone, and iPad, uh, as well for Mac users. You just go through Apple Store and also search for wireless uh, wireless uh, network watcher. Uh, okay. So yeah, what else? What else? What else? Uh, so I guess that's all uh, for today. Now, I I wasn't plan I wasn't really planning to make this video, but. I made this discovery today, and it's like I was totally hyped. Oh, I was so I was totally pissed. So I ha so uh, so I saw an opportunity to make this video. I know I talk a lot. Uh, you probably be complaining why this video is too long, because if I made it too short, you probably will, will not learn anything. So. Thank you for watching my video, thank you for your patience. My name is Hani Madu, signing off. Take care.